in September 2020, we sold our house in the UK, then moved to Normandy in France, where we bought an ancient French farmhouse with various outbuildings, including an old barn, a small cottage with two woodlands, and three and a half acres of pastured land in a beautiful national park area. Follow us on our journey as Budo and I renovate the farmhouse, manage our land and take on many projects for you to enjoy. Let the fun begin. Good morning folks. So uh, Tracy, where are we? Good morning everyone. Hope you're all well and hope you've all had a good weekend. We're here at Pepinier Le, Le Comte. We've come to collect all our lavenders, which we're yeah. super excited about. So we're going to go in and see Catherine. She's yeah. going to show us all our plants. And what is it going to be the start of our... Lavender Empire, yes, are you that's calling what we're it? calling it. <laughs> I name it. Mini Don't Empire. <laughs> our Mini uh, Empire. So shall we... Hang on, no, hang on. Shall I was going to say, um, so what I want you to do is... Let me just turn you around. We... <laughs> all right. Is. Did you notice something? The big smile on our faces. <laughs> Getting our lavender. <laughs> anyway. So Tracy can't resist. She's looking at all the other plants we have that she wants. Well, you've got to think about everything. You've got to yeah. think about the wide spectrum. Yeah, it's lovely, wow. don't it? Look at this olive tree. Oh, yeah. It's a lovely olive tree they've got in a pot. Wow. It's quite spectacular. It's old, isn't it? No, it's been there a long while, look. Olive. Yeah, Olive. And the one I love is this cloud tree over here. I'm just going to point it out to them. Sorry about the uh, fellow's got his tractor out or whatever. So over here. It's a lovely cloud tree. Hi folks, so here we are. We've got our first phase of lavenders. Yep. So Tracy's going to tell us what we've got here. We've got um, 26 of the phenomenal. Yep. And over here, look how beautiful these are. Yeah. Look how healthy they are. So these are our uh, grosso. We've got Sanconte, which is 50 plants of the grosso. So I am really, really looking forward for when we plant these. And we're going to take a lot of cuttings off of these as well, aren't we? Yeah, well, we these are use these as nursery plants to yeah. cut from. And uh, the phenomenal were beautiful uh, lavender as well, which we had in England. So we're uh, getting excited now. Now, we've been told there is a frost coming next week, uh, a couple of days. So we're going to get try and get these in the ground. And then we're going to put some horticultural fleece over them, give them some protection until they can get their roots in. And then by late, by the end of this summer and next winter, the uh, the plants will be established and they will be able to handle the cold. I think when we put the horticultural fleece on, we'll actually double it up as well, just to give yeah. it that extra protection. We've got enough of that. So uh, I like his little trailer. He brought it yeah. up in. Um, so we've got 75 plants, and that's 25 in a row. Yep. And uh, one of them's for our neighbour. His little tractor, look. Yep. I got uh what's that what's that saying you know my tractor's bigger than your tractor <laughs> <laughs> I'm a joke. But yeah we're going to give one of these aren't we to our neighbour yeah well. but uh look at that look how beautiful they are Thank you. 
So folks, we've uh, arrived back home. We've had our first phase of lavenders. So we've got all our phenomenal here and all our grosso at the top. And uh, you wanna smell the car. Oh my God. It's a bit heady actually coming back, but uh, they're looking beautiful, these plants. They're really healthy. Uh, and they're ready to start growing. They'll get going. This, the roots have come out the bottoms a little bit, but that's because she was looking after them in the um, in her uh, what they call it greenhouse, if you like, poly tunnels, uh, till the main frosts are gone. But everything's growing now, so you have a little look out there. It looks all green and lush everywhere, and the trees are just starting to bud. As you can see here, look. <laughs> so this is a uh, hazel. The little buds are coming out on the hazel. These are their winter uh, uh, blooms, if you like, for the uh, self-seeding or whatever. But, and this tree's budding as well a little bit. Yeah, not sure what that is. It looks like some sort of oak. And uh, going back to the lavender. So, had to open the door. Leave the doors open now for a little while. And we're gonna get start planting. Oh, it smells so gorgeous. What you want to do is, if you've got a, uh, a little bag of lavender seeds or heads, or whatever, uh, you know, you, you keep little sachets, sachets, sachets of lavender. Give it a good smell and then watch this. And it tries to smell strong. I was just telling about the, the first phase of the lavender we got come now, and uh, what the heady smell of lavender that's in there. It's lovely, isn't it? Anyway, let's get them out and we'll get start planting. Okay, as you can see folks, I'm going to spin you around. The lavender is set up, so we've just started to put them in now. Um, Tracy's been watering them all. Just going to get some more water. So uh, the positions they're sitting in now is where they're going in. Uh, you've got 25 in each row. Uh, hopefully you can see this. Oh, Sorry, I was looking the wrong way there, <laughs> the camera. Right, let's start again. Right, so, welcome folks. Uh, we start to put lavenders in now. Tracy's just gone and get some more water because she's watering them in. Um, this is the position they're going in, where they're standing. So everyone's in a pot at the moment. Uh, they're gonna get a good water into going in. But from then on, they won't need over flooding with water. They'll just be kept as dry, just enough water, feeding them every now and then and uh, they should get off lovely. So this row and the next row are gonna be Grosso, uh, which is a nice big growing plant. So we've made a 32 inch between each plant, uh, which is, what is that? It's gotta be about 900 millimeters, something like that. Um, and that give them a good growing space. And if we look down the, the, uh, the aisle, if you think where they're growing, They've got the width for this to grow as well, you know, both sides. So they can spill out onto the pathway a little bit. Yeah, so it's gonna look nice. So uh, we'll get them all in and then we'll show you where we're at. Uh, but this is the start of it. And uh, summer's coming, or well, spring is here nearly. And uh, well, it is here, isn't it, technically? And that means everything's gonna start growing. You only need 50 degrees and then uh, everything grows. As you can see, the grass is gone mad it's growing everywhere so i've got to get the flower mower on and get the tractor uh up here again and give that a good cut got a bit of landscaping to do over there but uh wanted to get the lavenders in early as possible so they're growing and then we can start taking our cuttings from these and you can get around about minimum sort of 10 cuttings per plant as they're growing so 25 times 10 you can do the math of each row we'll soon have enough in here to do the whole of this um and the other one we're getting traces the hang on the other lavender the other lavender we're getting is the hitcock yeah hitcock yeah it didn't turn up did it but no so we're hoping in the next two to three weeks that that will be um catherine said she's hoping to get that in for us so yeah. fingers crossed that will come as well so uh there we go so let's get these planted and then uh, we'll start to show you as they're done, all right? Welcome, folks. Um, Trace's gonna pan down in a minute 
I'm going to show you what we're uh, up to. We're putting these lavenders in and what we're doing, how we how we think it will be the right way for us. So, if you want to look down there, Trace, to here. So what I do is I just make a hole with the gas gun, basically just enough to put the lavender in, um, and it's halfway between the orange spots, yeah, because that's just to set us out as halfways. Um, and all I do, come down, make a quick hole like that, enough to get the plant in, roughly that size, see? Okay? Then, what I'll do, I'll explain what this is in a minute. Get my hands in there, move it all about. Okay? I'm putting in a little bit of gravel and sand as well. Just to give it a bit of help for a free draining for the lavender, because they like to be in that. They don't like to be sitting in wet roots. Um, and you can see these are a bit pot bound because they've been sitting in the polytunnel for a uh, couple of months for us till the, till the um, frost of that go. So basically, we'll put this down in there, in the hole. Lock it down, I'll put my hand underneath and I'll back fill all the way around the lavender. Then squash it down. rid of that right that's the lavender in we're going to water that in and that'll be it for a little while um just want to explain what these are these are called lavender shorts they're not really i'll just call them that so all i've done is i cut a square of cloth which is the fleece um horticultural fleece um it's, it's like this stuff but it's like a cheap, membrane isn't yeah, it's it it's a membrane but it's a it's a cheaper version yeah um and lighter it doesn't last as long and then basically, what we'll do with this is we'll put it around the plant, okay? And then we'll start to tuck it and feed it in. Tracy will do it. She'll tuck and feed this all in underneath as I'm planting along. Um, and you'll see it going on. Actually, I'll do this one, then you can, you can see what we mean. Tracy will just tidy that up a bit. But basically, what that does that gives that plant a little bit extra uh, security to stop the weeds growing out of here because you see it all the time, you know, the weeds are all right next to the lavenders and this is all clear, but they're in the lavenders and then you've still got to deal with them. So this might give them a hand. Yeah. I'm not sure. We're just trying it for our luck. I think it will definitely help, won't it? it? Hopefully it will help. Yeah. Um, and, you know, I've called it lavender shorts. It's as good a name as I could think for it. But, uh, Is that because they look, look like shorts? You see the first time, I'll show you again. So it's just a piece of cloth, square cloth, slit down the middle. Looks like a pair of shorts. Right, but we call them lavender shorts. So they go around there and that will just protect them a little bit. Uh, and as you can see here, just got gravel, sand, which will be for putting around the bottom of the plant. So when they get the roots off, they'll go into that gravel, free draining. The tender roots won't be uh, sitting in water. Anyway, we're gonna go around the whole lot, do this, and then get it tidied up. And once they're in, we'll give you a nice panning picture of them all, all in, all right? All right, putting the shorts on now, the lavenders, tucking them in, if you like. Just got to get them right at the back. Lay it flat underneath and that will give it a little bit of protection. Or well, double layer of protection really from, um, oh, the dog's barking, from the weeds that will be coming up. Yep. It's, so uh, it's looking they're good. all done above us now. They're down this row. All the way up there done. I've just got a few more to do down here. And uh, basically just putting another one in. We can hear my dog barking in the background because he can sit or she can see us. And I think there's a dog over there I can hear. Yeah. But anyway, so I'll let you crack on with that. We've got one, two, three, four more to do. And then we can start the next row. Yeah. Okay, evening folks. So, got all the lavenders in. Um, you can see, looking nice, isn't it? 
so they'll get off now and grow they've been uh, watered uh, in and bedded in obviously um, so we have 75 there in that in them two rows and these will be nursery plants as well so these will grow more plants to grow more uh, lavenders um, I've learnt a lesson here though the buying them like that size is okay for a few but if you want to put a lot in you really want small plugs because it's very difficult to push them in the holes and get round them and make sure they're in properly bedded in uh, but I've got done it in the end but um, I've just been called by my neighbour and uh, there's a tree come down it's a uh, 60 odd feet uh, silver uh, fir and uh, he said did I want it well it's straight as a, a die like you know it's con completely lovely and straight and it's a uh, good good circumference make a nice beam so if I can get it it's gonna be for a beam for that building over there because I need to put a central beam through the middle there so uh, watch this space if I go and get it Okay folks, so this is less than half the tree. Um, I think I might be hanging out the back a little bit there by three meters, but hey ho, we've only got to go around the corner, across the road, that's all. So uh, look at that bad boy, look. And the other one's just as straight, it's the same size, just as straight. And uh, we're gonna get it the other end, take it off. And it is, it's but that's lovely. Hey, see, resources. Normally people just cut that up, burn it, but that's gonna become a beam. Okay, folks, that's tiring, that is. <laughs> anyway, so what I do is I just uh, plug out the holes, get the, uh, uh, the earth out and rocks, drop the uh, posts in temporarily. Um, so you see me do them too. I'm gonna do another one now. I'm gonna put the phone down. Um, no, there, uh, they're two foot deep. And you can see me using a little stick here. A little stick here, that notch on it and that tells me when it's two foot or just that notch is just above two foot so it's two foot deep and then that leaves four foot above um, and then I'll cut all the tops off like I did with these lot here going along there so they're all nice and level all the way around as you can see so it's a lovely sunny day I'm gonna pace myself I'm gonna get this one done one two three four over there uh, so I get these five done and I can look at the corner post then start working on those um, But I can only show you so much speed ramping it gets boring um, It's better to tell you what I'm doing or show you what I'm doing Anyway, so there we go. 
So that's the next one in. That'll be side three, done in about 10 minutes. Well, 20 minutes, because I've got to put the uh, gravel in yet. But uh, I want to show you this side, and you don't get to see this side. This here is where the building used to be. Coming out, it used to come right out to here. Um, it was a massive building. It was nearly as big as the house, or if not bigger. Uh, and the fantastic news is, and I think I might have told you, but we got planning permission. We got all the permissions to put it all back, but we're not gonna make it as big. It's gonna come out seven meters from there. Um, and the porch as well. So uh, we're gonna clear all this site here. There's loads and loads of oak and timber under there. Beams, you can see there, just one, the end of one there, uh, which is, had a tenon on it and a mortars but anyway there you go there's the post going in soon be done they'll be done today and then we can put the mesh up maybe tomorrow and then that protects it look tracy's got all the meshes open uh what uh, wonderful the onions are looking and the spinach on the end we've got some spinach we're gonna have loads more of that uh, the onions uh, are looking fantastic two varieties there and garlic's up the other end and uh, we've got more onions, red onions and shallots over the other netting over there. Uh, anyway, let's crack on. Okay, folks, so job done. All the posts in. I didn't get quite enough time to do the uh, corner braces, but I'll do them tomorrow morning now. But everything's in. So all the posts are in and cemented nice and straight down the line. Like a row of soldiers, these are. <laughs> um, if you notice on that line over there, I don't know if you can see that line, I'll move to it. That's the last lot I've just done. Um, it's been a good day today. Got, got plenty of done. Plenty of done, as they say. Um, all the four of them are going to cut off now. But that line determines the height for me, the string I put through. So it's on the top of the corner post there, on top of this corner post. All the four corner posts were sighted through. Sorry about the wind. Um, let that blow down a bit. So I'm going to cut them off and then I'll go round the tops of these with my uh, chainsaw at a slight angle and just make a nice chamfered round edge like I've done on the ones over there. Go round there. And then that all looks splendid. And uh, it's been lovely working here today because it's gone humid. It's a little bit humid now. There's a lot of water in the air, but there's a lot of heat now coming from the sun. And we have what over here, what we call a goat willow. And there's another one over there. And the smell is just unbelievably beautiful. It's coming off the pollen. And uh, oh my God, it's just so sweet. And it's just a pleasure to work when, you, when, you know, when you're working away and you get smells like that. But uh, it's been lovely working out here. Mind you, it's been lovely the last few six, seven, well, five, six weeks we've been out in the garden doing lots of different jobs and, you know, outside work. Anyway, guys, that's that all in now. So the next time I'll show you it, I'll start putting the uh, metal fencing up or the corner post even.